Welcome to this Ash Design training video. Today I want to show you how to use two of our new Photoshop actions in our Be Beautiful set. I'm going to use both the Perfect Skin action and the Healthy Glow action to edit an image. Once you see how quick and easy these edits are, you'll fall in love with these new Photoshop actions. First we'll look at the Perfect Skin. This brush on Photoshop action for photographers is incredibly easy to use. It's versatile and gives you full control of your intensity. It makes photo editing a breeze by clearing up blemishes, fading freckles, smoothing wrinkles, and softening chapped lips, all while retaining the natural skin texture. Next, we'll add Healthy Glow. This subtle and easy to use brush on action will add a gentle, sun kissed glow to all of your portraits. You control exactly where it's added and the intensity of its warm peach glow. What do you say we get started? I have the image that we're going to use today open in Photoshop. Before we run any of the actions, it's nice to fix any blemishes that you see on your image. So I'm going to zoom in and the way I like to fix these uh, blemishes is just to get the spot healing tool and you just click on them and it cleans them up super easy. So I'm not going to do all of these but you get the idea, just get that spot healing tool and clean up the blemishes, like in this case it can actually even clean up some of this eyebrow area a little bit if we wanted to. Uh, so use that spot healing first before you run any of the actions. And then the first action that we're going to run today is the perfect skin. And so I'll just go over to my actions palette and I'll look down here for the Ash Be Beautiful Perfect Skin. And I'll click on that and then I'll run the play. And with all the actions it's going to tell you to make sure you're running it on a background layer. So just double check in your layers palette and I do have a background layer so I'll click continue. The action is now going to run in the background and then it's going to bring up a new set of instructions for me. So it's telling me with a soft white brush to paint up in the black layer mask and then to adjust the opacity as needed. So I'm going to click continue and you can see it added a perfect skin layer right down here in my layers palette. So I'm going to click on that black layers mask to make sure it's selected and then I'm just going to get my brush tool and I'm going to set my opacity to somewhere around 40 or 50 percent and I'm going to make sure it's a soft brush so just soften this up here and then I'm just going to paint on all the areas that I want to smooth out. The one thing to keep in mind as you paint on your image is just to avoid uh, hairlines and edges and so make sure that you're adjusting your brush to kind of stay away from the eyebrows, um, hair, uh, jaw lines, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to real quickly try and catch a few of these areas. And then the really nice thing about this action is after I've painted it on, I can come back over here to my layers palette and then I can adjust the opacity from here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bump it way up so you can see what would happen. Uh, it's by default at 40%. I go up above that, you can see how soft it gets and unrealistic. Um, so what I usually try and do is, I started at 40, I usually take it down to 0%, and then I just increase it until I get the desired effect I like. So somewhere in here I think it's nice, you can see it does a real nice job of tightening up the pores in here. Um, on other images it does a great job of reducing wrinkles. Uh, just smoothing the skin, uh, making everything look really nice. So it's a very quick, easy action to run. Now that I've run the perfect skin action, I want to add the healthy glow action over it. So before I do that, I'm just going to flatten my layers. So I'm going to go to my layers palette, right click, um, and then just flatten my image. I still have this background layer, which is going to be important when I run my next action. And then I'm just going to go under my actions palette find the healthy glow and click play to run the action and then I'll hit continue and the action will run in the background and again it's going to tell me to use a soft white brush and paint on the black layer mask and then adjust the opacity so I'm going to hit continue I'll come to my layers palette click on the black box just to make sure I have that layer mask selected and then I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here and get my brush tool 
and set my opacity somewhere around that 40 to 50 percent. And then I'm just going to paint on the Healthy Glow. This one you can kind of get more in the hair if you want. Um, anything that you kind of want to add that sun-kissed look to. Um, I can back back out. and So this one sometimes I think is hard to see as you're painting it on, but if I turn off my Healthy Glow layer, you'll definitely see how it brightens up his face. That's off. And there's with the Healthy Glow on again. And again, you can adjust this more by using the opacity in the layers palette. So this is 40%. I can bring it up. Uh, so he's very glowing. Uh, again, I'll start at zero, and then I'll just bump that up until I achieve the desired results. Then once I'm done, I can either flatten these layers and save the file, or I can save out the JPEG to be printed. Um, these extra layers do add a lot of size to your images so flattening them um, and saving a copy is is better than saving all those layers in there but now you've seen the before and afters of the perfect skin and the healthy glow